Hey, what's up, yo? Pagkas muna tayo rito, no? What's up, boss? Uh, 175.35, 3.767 liters. Uh, yun. Well, it's a Saturday, guys. Uh, ito, ride tayo na naman papasok. Well, yan, no? Makikita nyo yung difference. Ang laki. From other gasoline station. So, hindi natin maintindihan kung bakit yung mga ibang gas station is hindi uh, makapagbaba na kanila mga gasoline unlike other gasoline station no, na they can uh, simply go down to the market price hindi natin alam kung what's the reason behind it alright once again guys what's up what's up people what's up hey what's up yeah, it's another ride once again and it's another video for our uh, viewers from YouTube from uh, the channel Moto Dreamer hello there everyone well it's a Saturday it's a weekend and uh, we're on for uh, another ride uh, this one is uh, just uh, going uh, on the way to our work area so our uh, travel time expected 40 minutes but we did not start from uh, the place of origin so we just started at the uh, boss gasoline station in uh, Quezon Avenue, Araneta so uh, you know, nakita nyo yung kaibahan no, from other gasoline station from uh, uh, 46 something na per liter ng unlit gasoline from that uh, gasoline station tignan nyo, tignan natin yung ibang gasoline station from uh, sa mga dadaanan natin there's one here, Uni Oil uh, look at the compare it. Kung anong pinagkaiba, they're just uh, the same gasoline. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Some reasons I heard before sa news is that imported daw yung pagkakarefine nung gasoline. Nung gasolina. That's why it's uh, the cost of the gasoline is much higher from uh, the different gasoline station. Do you think that's the reason? <laughs> We don't know, we are not the owner or the, the guys involved or handling the, uh, <laughs> the uh, those gasoline stations here. Yeah, no, think that you Uni oil, the difference is 50 pesos and 59 cents. So, napakalaki ng difference from uh, that uh, gasoline, almost four, 4 pesos ang difference. So, napakalaki, no? Yung 4 pesos na yun sa tatlong litro oh di meron ka ng 12 pesos Sayang rin yung 12 pesos na Additional para pang gas mo no? uh, Yun yung kaibahan no? from other Meron pa isa rito Petron Shout out Petron <laughs> Shout out Petron Petron <laughs> Shout out boss Boss Shout out Okay so we're on, uh, on our way to so, uh, Manila once again, guys. Uh, so, we're na naman tayo. Alright, here we go. Ano uh, yung gasoline. Tignan nyo yung difference. From 50-59 doon sa kamila, dito sa Petron is 50-79. Ahead sila ng how much? So, 20 cents, something like that. Iba-iba yung uh, presyo ng gasolina no? Conforme sa Sa company Sa company nung Gas station Kung Where do they base their uh, Their gasoline Their gasoline From the barrel The import barrel Or we don't know. We don't know exactly where it is uh, based. So, it's a Saturday once again. What's up? What's up? Hey, you, everyone. How are you doing, guys? It's a Saturday weekend na naman. And, syempre, it's a weekend. Walang coding today. Definitely. Ang road ay congested. Traffic. And since... It's just uh, uh, the half of uh, the month and yung iba, siguro. 
nakaka ano lang sahod lang yung iba hindi pa so isip tayo kung saan tayo dadaan today it's either maglakson tayo take the Mobini Bridge or we'll go straight ahead sa Quiapo but I guess medyo traffic sa Quiapo so I guess dito na tayo pasok tayo sa Blue Wind Street ah traffic dyan guys pag inner tayo sa interior ng uh, ng Manila I'll just uh, out here Okay. Yun. All right. So, traffic na Saturday traffic. Let's wait for the green here on the side of the street crossing uh, Espana. We're in Blooming Street. Ten uh, minutes, uh, ten seconds away before we uh, cross this uh, street all right it's a green to go guys and so yun pumasok tayo sa interior ng ano no ng sampalo kasi nakita nyo naman sa front end ng video napaka traffic and uh, bumper to bumper situation heading uh, UST so Therefore, pumasok tayo dito sa Blue Mint Treat para makapag-filter, maka-getaway tayo dun sa traffic area. Oop. Okay. Alright, here we go. So, alright. Ano nga ba meron pag Saturday, no? So, commonly Saturday, and yung, ah, uh, day na maraming mga events uh, maraming mga gimmick maraming mga events from different malls and uh, one thing eh, nakapila rito same as there dun sa Espanya but uh, syempre since it's a uh, two wheel makaka-penetrate tayo dun sa uh, traffic yun lang ang kaibahan that's the difference, that's the big one when you ride a motorcycle look at here, ah oh boy may nakaparada pa dun sa right side so man yun. so, here we go Saturday talaga no it's uh Saturday traffic talaga cause uh, walang isang bagay dun is walang number coding so, oh boy, nakita nyo wow, wow, wow ang kalsada yeah from here, ginagawa pala yung kalsada rin yung road construction, that's why it's close siguro gano ka tagal kaya tayo pipilter dito same lang pala no from Espanya sa Blumenthal same situation oh boy ganun din pala no nagka-counter flow yung isang motorcycle ako na ako na ako na ako na ako okay so sobrang traffic guys dito pa lang tayo sa mga ay ah pahardo yup and really congested sarado yung mga backwash na kalsada because meron niyang road construction doon ginagawa yung kalsada so hindi tayo makakapasok doon tsaga tsaga na lang tayo rito and uh, woo -woo. siguro north side harating doon no? super super duper traffic today Saturday Saturday what else can you expect on a Saturday definitely traffic na traffic yan kasi walang number coding every vehicle is out on the road nag titi isa nag tsaga just to have their uh, cars and vehicles driven hassle sa pagkukommute yun lang ano, one thing na very handy if you have a uh, motorcycle, vehicles, cars sedans uh, vans 
you know and also saturday most commonly and yung uwi and then eh uwi and time from uh, nearby provinces syempre after a day uh, a weekday of work some of uh, mga workers or sa mga employees uwi yan sa kanika nila mga bayan no? especially pag ang bayan lang nila is just nearby Bulacan Pampanga Laguna or else yung mga malalapit lang na around 3 to 4 hours na biyahe lang and syempre sino ba namang ayaw umuwi sa pamilya pag mayro kayong free free time so syempre most mostly yung mga away from their family they'll have a time to you know have a get together over a weekend just two days specifically and you know just enjoying uh, the two two day vacation uh, all, uh, this uh, week we're gonna have the uh, no, holiday pala no? Monday it's a holiday so therefore meron silang tatlong araw to spend with their uh, loved ones I spend nila for uh long weekend it will be a three three days uh, vacation from uh from mga employees uh, in around the metro sa mauumuwi sa kanigalilang probinsya so yun yun ang uh, most commonly na mangyayari for those na nagtatrabaho sa metro manila na wanna get away and just uh, relax for uh, quite some time siguro even uh, uh, a day or two it's okay na, no? Makasama mo yung pamilya mo. Makasama mo sila over for the weekend. And it's a joyful way to, you know, be with family. And luckily, Monday will be a holiday. So, lahat yan will be on some, uh, you know, parks, theme parks, malls to spend the uh, long uh, vacation this uh, week so well still up in uh, you know filtering in the road of Manila well same situation here from uh, Espana still ganun din traffic din uh, supposed to be from this area hindi naman dapat but uh, merong road construction ginagawa yung kalsada dito sa Pajardo so ayan Pagkita nyo naman, ayan yung ano, bako. And, yun. So, ang haba na, hindi tayo makasingit. Hindi tayo makapag-filter. Yun, okay, konti abante ka. Ayan mo yan. Alright. Si Nmax. Yun, alright, let's go. Oh yeah, well just a uh, small space para makapag uh, singit singit. <laughs> yeah no, wagwas sila ng drainage system rito from uh, Manila. Kasi yung ano nga yung Manila is very prone to flood no. Specifically pag ganitong season no, rainy season. Uh, oh boy. Woo man. So, filter filter tayo sarado dito kasi it's, uh, I think it's fiesta eh. Fiesta dito no sa ano, San Paolo. Ayun. Eh huh. mga road obstacles pa no. Katulad niya no. Ah, boy. Ben, kailan kaya magbabago ang Pilipinas? Kailan kaya magbabago ang Pilipinas? Kailan kaya magkakaroon ng kaayusan sa Pilipinas? Kailan kaya magkakaroon ng disiplina ang bawat Pilipino sa Pilipinas? Well, it's hard to say, you know. Everybody has their mind, <laughs> their own perspective, and their uh, their own ideas on how. <laughs> on papano. Okay. So, all right, kasha pala tayo rito. Okay. So, ayan. Oh, sa kabupunta ko yas sarado yan. Kung kano nito merecho. Okay. Yup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ang abala na before we go on ahead for more uh, talk is here. We like to. I like to introduce again. Uh, 
Yours truly, my name is Modo Dreamer In case gusto nyo malaman Actually, malalaman nyo naman Kasi meron namang label dyan sa Downside ng frame ng uh, video So, I'm just letting you know My name is Modo Dreamer The guy with uh, a lot of uh, ideas and dreams Ang isang mapangaraping Modo Vlogger Ang pangalan ay Modo Dreamer Well, samahan nyo po ako, no? If you did watch the very first part of this video and nakaabot ka ka hanggang dito sa video na to, ha, this part, maraming salamat, no? Sana pagpatuloy, patapusan hanggang end ng this video. And, uh, enjoy mo lang panunood, no? <laughs> enjoy lang natin yung traffic ng Maynila. Okay, nandito na tayo, no? We are about to cross uh, turn left sa uh, Laxon area. Uh, yeah, congested talaga from crossing from uh, Spanya. Uh, napaka traffic ala. Dami kasi ng sasakyan talaga no. Siguro yung most commonly na problema ng Pilipinas is the uh, marami ng sasakyan. Sobrang manufactured ng sasakyan. So therefore, iyon yung nagko-cause ng traffic sa buong kamay nilaan. So I guess it's time for uh, the leaders. Na Magkaroon ng ano, checking, no? Oh. Pagkansa na analytics, ano ba talaga yung nagkakos ng traffic? Why is that uh, pag walang coding, it's so very traffic in the metro? Sa metro Manila, no? Napaka-traffic, no? Pag walang uh, walang number coding. Kasi, di ba, isa lang ang rason dyan. Kasi lahat ng sasakyan is nasa labas trucks bus, jeepneys UV express, private cars private vehicles everybody is in the road every week weekend, especially Saturday di ba? may mga hinahabol may mga gigimik or something, or may mga events yun yung mga ano, bagay bagay na nakakapag uh, contribute sa traffic sa buong kamay nila ano, every Saturday so kung may sasakyan ka, four wheeler ka and uh, nagbabiyahe ka everyday and uh, Saturday is the most oh yeah <laughs> the most day of uh, traffic yun na tayo no so, nabako tayo dun alright Saturday is the most traffic day uh, but here apa ano din siya, balik ng dito Yan no, grabe And imagine yourself in there Filtering Trying to escape from the volume of uh, vehicles from that area Oh boy Ultimong mga motor nga, hindi makasingit eh Because uh, punong puno na talaga no Oh yan, dito magkakaroon tayo na Oh boy Okay, you know Wala nang helmet speed running pa si kuya yun siya ano siyempre yun ang tinatawag na puli ka motem mode si kuya ayan siya speed running without helmet tapos naka chinelas ah uh, yun that's one of way to be a kamote kamote rider <laughs> uh, no, we cannot blame them. It's the uh, it's their idea of riding a motorcycle in Manila, pa, no? In a busy street like this. Actually, hindi naman kawala no. Pag nag helmet ka, and pag nag fully riding, not riding gears, but uh, way of uh, holding. Pag magra ride ka na motorcycle. Uh, Siyempre, hindi naman gobyerno or police ang ginagawa mo ng safety. It's yourself. You're making yourself safe at safety first. Hindi kahit sino, no? Siyempre, sarili mo, sarili mo, sarili mo, at sarili mo lamang ang ginagawa mong safe. Safe, safe, safe. Alright, uh, same situation from here, still, 
we have to do a filtering. Lata yung magagawa, it's a Saturday. It's pool pack, jam pack, streets. Ang <laughs> Metro Manila. It's really Philippines. The only one. The only one in Asia and only one in the world. Na meron mga ganitong bagay-bagay. Number one in boxing. Number one in in uh, tourist destination. Number one in kalokohan, drugs, and you know a lot of things. Na nakakapagbababa ng image ng Pilipinas. <laughs> it's the only one in the whole wild world na may ganito. No? Philippines is our country. If you like to be here, go here and spend time. Explore us. And you will see the real Philippines with us. <laughs> Once again, the guy in control of your video today is Moto Dreamer right here doing a video upload for all of you. Our YouTubers out there. Siyempre, kasama at kapiling nyo si Moto Dreamer hanggang... Hanggang trabaho lang, no? <laughs> uh, this is the way, uh, one way of uh, vlogging. It's... Uh, what I call this is... Uh, the work ride vlog. <laughs> I don't know, just uh, filming a videos from uh, where we. Sa tayo mga dumadaan, no? mga streets na dinadaan na natin from Quezon City all the way to Manila area. Yan yung mga places na dinadaan na natin. Na makikita nyo naman ang difference from Quezon City all uh, all the way up here sa Manila. It's really congested from Manila. Kasi si mga kalsada rito na bakalit na, no? They haven't planned this uh, Manila since uh, it was founded. Wala na naglakas loob na i-gawing maayos yung pattern ng mga kalsada rito. And just, you know, pag may magtayo rito, they, you know, that way, mga ganong bagay ang nangyari. Well, we cannot, uh, you know, blame them this is still a part of the history it's the Philippines it's Manila it's the only one you can see in a whole wide world na meron ganito we are we are what we are yes uh, still in travel mode with mode dreamer and soon mapagbiyahe sana tayo Kapag uh, uh, ride tayo Using this uh, motorcycle Yamaha Mio Air Rocks 155 Si Buddy Roxy Ang ating uh, kabadi Para sa ating mga biyahe Okay Sana Oh wala talaga Hindi talaga luluwag yung kalsada Same from here Ganun pa rin Although moderate siya Moderate, moderate Siya, okay Oh boy Anong meron sa unahan? Wala naman, siguro Sobrang dami nga ng sasakyan Wala nga may ibang word na may incorporate sa sitwasyon ng trafiko Kundi napakaraming sasakyan Never ending production of vehicles so sa ibang country nga no, di ni, ano na no? uh, like in ano Thailand, India, napakaraming motorsiklo. Imbis na mga sasakyan ang kotse, puro sila motorsiklo kasi uh, they find they find it more accessible sa kanila mga public roads na gumamit na lang ng motorsiklo. And less pa sa pag ng gasoline so siguro it is uh, mandated to every citizen ng India na gumamit na lang ng motorsiklo instead of buying four wheel vehicle na hindi naman really kailangan na gamitin or pag individually ka lang hindi mo naman kailangan o dalawa lang kayo pwede naman kayong sumakay sa motorsiklo it's a two-passenger vehicle naman. So, siguro, mandated from their uh, government to use two wheels. 
and not to buy lots of uh, four wheels especially cars all right no mga siguro around 10 minutes na lang nandun na tayo sa uh, sa working natin we're just here at uh, Paco area and yun lang no wala naman tayo talagang uh, mainly topic rito yun lang kung ano naman pag-uusapan natin from uh, sa idea sa pag-drive makikita natin situation or yun lang ang pinag-uusapan natin and hopefully makatulong sa lahat ng mga nagmumotor lahat ng may sasakyan eh, lahat na magkaro, uh, gusto magkaroon ng sasakyan at the same time yun lang giving, uh, giving you some inputs some idea kung bakit nga ba kung paano nga ba kung paano gagawin paano may iwasan or what marami pang ganyan so abang abang lang tayo from this channel once again kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe gawin nyo na ngayon pindutin nyo yung pulang buton na yan na nakalagay na subscribe and para ma-notify kayo sa susunod na video ang susunod yung gagawin i-click nyo yung bell notification bell para ma-notify kayo sa next uh, upload ni Moto Dreamer alright so yun lang napaka simple lang yung gagawin nyo follow this uh, instruction and I'll be glad to have you for my channel yeah guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Saturday weekend, weekend, weekend traffic right here Quezon City in Manila, Metro Manila area and we have really to deal with it and yan yan, given na yan, a given situation -er. it's a given thing hindi na maaalis, it's a part of our daily routine our daily ride siya ay tinatawag na traffic <laughs> Metro Manila Okay Sup guys, sup guys Yeah Still Few, 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 few blocks away Nandun na tayo sa worky Sa trabaho natin Sa night ship uh, Soon I'll be filming also Sa work area natin From time travel From this area Mag be film din tayo sa loob na ating trabaho so you'll get, uh, get an idea kung ano ba yung night shift trabaho ni Mokulo Dreamer alright, it's Top Avenue na Peel Street and we're just a few inch away from the work area well I guess uh, that's about it guys no? hope uh, I do input some ideas para sa mga nagbabiyahe sa kalsada ng Metro Manila and you know same thing as always you all have a ride safe ride safe on the road eye on the road always and have a great great day great ride enjoy your ride every day this is Mono Dreamer saying peace out peace out guys bye bye babush <laughs>